What up, guys? Welcome back. I'm Gamer Mike, and we are back on Skyblock once again. Last time I left you off, we got the smeltery all set up and ready to go. Um, we have, let's see, I believe we have our cast here. Yeah, we have the ingot cast, pickaxe head cast, full guard cast, and a blank cast. So I've, uh, I've done a lot of research. I've been kind of do you know just doing some stuff on my own a bit. And the blank cast is completely worthless, but we can put it back into the smeltery and smelt it back to create something else a little bit more beneficial than uh, the blank one. Uh, we don't need the brick. We're going to just kind of keep my inventory kind of clear. Um, so why don't we take a look real quick at our quest book, see where we are at. We're 40% done with one sky block already. Let's open it up. Um, <coughs> so, sorry. Uh, we just finished the casting call quest. It unlocked uh, the It's Automatic quest. Um, so what this is wanting us to do is create an autonomous activator, an aqueous accumulator, and a vacuum hopper. Alright, so if we look here, this is going to take a lot of work here, so let's just back out. Uh, autonomous, let's load this up, autonomous activator. Uh, two emeralds and two diamonds, um, as well as some other stuff like uh, redstone and whatnot. So if we come over to our... Where is it? Our, our chest over here. Um, you have a 1% chance, yes, 1% of getting um, both emerald or diamond out of gravel. So pretty much what we have to do is we have to create a grind fest of gravel. <laughs> so we are going to be constantly graveling here for a little bit. Um, I will most likely do a bunch of this off screen just because it, it who knows, it could take an hour or it could take five minutes to get two uh, emeralds and two diamonds. Um, to get redstone, which is another thing we have to get, because if you look, we need a... Um, to create this, we need a pneumatic servo. To do that, we need some glass, that's easy. Some iron, that's easy. Or silver. And redstone. Redstone. Um, let's see if I'll show you how to get it. No, it won't. What you do is you just sift dust through this, and you have a pretty good, pretty good odds of getting it. So, I really want to get rid of this tree, too. That's... I, I hate big trees. Um, so we can do that. Also, uh, we have this Mary Had a Butcher Shop, which requires us to set up a mob spawner, which I have a very good design of how I'm going to do it. I just need to get it set up. It's going to take a lot of blocks as well. So we can do that, and that will open up a few more as well. So let's just start by chopping some of these trees. Let's get rid of the, this guy. Um, and I believe my axe, no, never mind. I thought maybe my axe is about to be upgraded. It's not even close. We just made this. All right, so let's just kind of pillar up here. And I want to eventually start creating a nice uh, grass platform as well so we can start getting some mobs spawning, um, like animals and food and stuff. And to do that, all we got to do is uh, now that we have a lot more iron, what we can do is we can just create um, some shears and shear all this. Um, okay, it's raining. Love it. Gotta love it. I might toggle the rain off here just because it doesn't benefit me anymore. And so, like, me toggling it, I don't consider it cheating or anything. It just helps with uh, noise and uh, audio a little bit. So, noise and audio. I think that's pretty much the same thing. But we're just going to chop this guy down real quick. And kind of start setting up for our mob spawner. Um, so what I'm going to do, instead of making it automatic, ah, see, I can either make it automatic or I can have it to where I actually farm it. Um, both are good. Um, the automatic wouldn't be bad. Uh, we need, <coughs> man, I got this nasty cough still. I cannot get rid of it. Um, what we need for that, though, is, uh, the vacuum hopper eventually. And I don't really want to commit to that yet. Um, so I think I might go with just the standardized, uh, mob spawner for now just for now okay let's replant grab yes yeah, sir i gotta do it i gotta do it toggle downfall downfall Oop. so it's weather clear there we go okay so that will get rid of the rain oh god what the heck i missed so many blocks what am i doing what am i doing um i'm sure there might be some way up there too hopefully not hopefully i got all the ones way up Nope, there is one right. I see it. Ah! Big trees are the worst. Come on. Man, I miss. Okay, alright. I'm so done. I'm so done with big trees. My pickaxe, or my, uh, my axe is ready almost at half. It's because I'm bringing a lot of saplings with it, though. Or, uh, leaves, not saplings. Um, that should be the last one. 
I'm feeling it. Come on. Come on, Christmas. Don't make me do this anymore. Oh my lord. I don't think I've ever seen a tree randomly generated this big. That is insane. Luckily, the other ones aren't as big. So we are good. We're good from here on out, though. And that probably gave me, like, yeah, half of a, an experience level with the, the, uh, the axe already. I will take it. So we're going to cut this down. Um, I could have created the shears and got that going. Uh, but oh well. What you going to do about it now? Let's actually, let's do it now. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do about it now. So let's see. If we just do bang, bang, some shears, and we just kind of go at it. These will break really quick. Um, it's pretty easy to get uh, iron, though, now, so I'm not too worried now that we have infinite gravel. So we can just kind of shear all this to give us, like, a ton of blocks of iron, or a ton of blocks of uh, uh, grass. So we can set up like a nice, uh, nice grass uh, field right over there. Pull some animals, animals. All right, let's finish cutting these down, replant them, and we'll get the the grass going as well. One more block, nice. There we go. Coo coo coo. We getting it, bumper and dino. Place those down. I still want to see this tile that sapling geo. I think that's what is that. White willow? Let me uh, let me just look up white willow real quick. Kind of interested what the wood looks like for that. White willow. Um, ain't gonna tell you, is it? Maybe you can't grow it. White white cloth, white stone, white beam. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, maybe I don't know. I might not even might not even grow. But we'll, we'll keep it there. Still waiting on my peach saplings to grow too. That's a little disappointing. Let's come over here. Oh, we need to eat here soon. We need to clear my inventory a little bit too. And I will get. I will also show you how this smeltery is gonna work here in a sec, since we have some iron. Uh, we need some more chests or organization. Um, let's throw this stuff in here. My pulverized aluminum. Uh, we're gonna take the iron. These two right here. We are going to throw the Appetite, the Quicksilver, Amber, Lapis. We'll throw these saplings in here. Let's see here. Yeah, it's something with the forestry. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, stone. We don't need that for now. Okay, so all we need is the broken iron. Let me make sure that we have enough liquid of lava. Lava liquid. Um, let's, before we die of hunger, let's kind of let's fix that, eh? Let's make me some more carrot juice. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Nothing like me some carrot juice in the morning. Or midday. Alright, we're just gonna feast down on some of this. Yeah, we have plenty of wood. Hopefully, that should be close to enough. We'll see uh, for what I need. And we actually do have an iron bucket. Okay, good. Um, let's get this going real quick. Real quick, like. This is because this is gonna take a while to get through all this. Uh, these leaves. Let's see. All right, now what I wanted to show you, we need the ingot cast. All right, now if we place the, these like that, get two iron ore gravel, come over here. We're going to smash this down. reason for smashing it is you have a better chance of yielding more iron in the long run. Like, let's see. See how, oh no, we didn't get any extra there. Sometimes you'll get like five pieces of iron ore instead, but not this time. Okay, so... Not sure why there is red in there. Oops, did not mean to do that. Oh god. Oh, don't do it. Oh, don't do it. Hold me up. Jeez. Alright. Um, let me check the smell three. There is blood in there and one molten aluminum brass still. So, I kind of want to get... Let's see here. Since there's one aluminum brass, which is what we need, we can do this. If we put the tool uh, rod pattern down... Oh! What do you know? Look at that. Oh, that's... Ooh, that looks kind of... Ooh, I like it. I like it. Interesting. We're going to have to chop it down real quick, Black, though, because it's kind of blocking everything. Um, whoops. That is not what I wanted to do. This is taking me a lot longer to do than what I thought it would. So if we throw... Dang it, now I need stone. Ah! All right, I will eventually figure out what I'm trying to do. All right, here we go. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Stencil... Part builder. Okay, so if we throw this here, throw the cobble there... Get a stone rod, stone shard. I'm gonna toss the stone shard later. Come over here. We place this this guy down like so. Click that. We will get a nice uh, tool rod cast. Bang. And is there anything left in just some blood? 
Okay. Oh, no, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Whew. Uh, maybe you can't smelt the cast. Maybe we have a blank cast for nothing. I hope not. Okay, so if we throw this down, we are going to break the smeltery controller. It will get rid of the blood, because I, I think I fell into it, is what happened. Now, if we throw these guys in there, it will smelt into some iron ingots. It will give us more than just the two iron ingots we would have got if we just put them into the slab furnace. So we are unfortunately going to have to cut down this wood willow tree real quick. So now we have a pickaxe head as well as a uh, tool rod. So if we went to screwed up and uh, made... Let's see what this looks like. Ah, that's ugly. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want any of that that, that kind of kind of stuff around here. Um, so yeah, if we would have made the mistake of making the blank cast, we would have been able to make like an iron pickaxe or something of that nature, something a lot better. We still can, but I want to make, like, if I make an iron pickaxe, I'm going to go all out and make the entire thing iron, as well as, like, the the binding and all that, uh, just so it lasts longer and is more efficient. Uh, okay, so we got some more saplings back. I don't think I'm going to grow any more of these. Um, they are really not that cool looking. They don't do anything beneficial for us, as I know of right now. So we're going to kind of leave it like that. Okay, so if you look here, we got four ingots out of that. So the only downside to the smeltery is you got to sit here, wait for it to smelt, grab it, click it again, wait for it to smelt, grab it, wait for it to smelt, click it again, but uh, you get a lot more out of it. So it's, it's, usually, it's pretty worth. It's pretty worth. Okay, so we got four more, like so. Okay, so now... We are going to work on getting our mob spawner set up. Where do I want it? I think I want it off the other edge of this. So we're going to take this and kind of fill in some of this. Just because it's kind of sketch. Super sketch. And I, I don't want sketchy stuff. Not here. Not now. Okay. Um. Shoot. We might actually need some more wood. Uh, I don't know. We're going to find out. 64. That's four stacks of wood. It should be enough. We can, uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this path one for now until I get out to where I want. Screw it. We're just going to convert it all. Convert it all. We're going to make it three, actually. We don't want no sketch here. No sketch. Um, bring this out a few more. I want to, oh my, God. nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Oh my gosh, weather clear. That's what it is. Not toggle downfall. Bring this here. Bring Gazat here. Um, probably like three more. And that should be far enough away from everything, I'd say. I say, I say, you can be anything. Um, now how am I going to do this? I want it to be... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Got to think about this for a sec. Uh, let's just make this the actual building. Okay, so if I come... One, two, three... Ah, that's probably too far. One, two... Three, four, five. So we're gonna do four. So uh, five actually. One, two, three, four, five. And just bring it down like that. Yeah, okay. Alright, so now we're just gonna bring yeah, we're gonna need some more wood. I feel it. I'm feeling like it. Bring this to about there. Bring this here. So the door might let in a little bit too much light for this to work successfully. If that is the case, what we can do is we can kind of make a little room, um, like, there, and have that lead into the mob spawn. If that is what we gotta do, it's what we gotta do. Alright, bring this here. And we're gonna have to actually make a sword here, too, as well. Um, which we can, uh, make out of flint, maybe? Maybe a flint sword? Or we could actually just go all out, uh, get gravel going and create a uh, nice um, iron sword. If uh, uh, Well, actually, we're going to need more aluminum for that because we're going to need uh, the iron sword cast and all that anyways. So, yeah, and we are going to need more wood. There's no way. This is going to be enough. No way, unfortunately. Um, bring this here. I'm not sure why I decided to start with the cast head instead of like the axe because I feel like the axe I'm going to use way more often than the other. So, this isn't going to be a giant room. I'll kind of explain it as I go here. Um, I'm going to fill this like that. 
And what it's going to do is allow me to come in here with this one block gap and hit them from underneath and without them being able to target me unless there's a skeleton across the room. That's the only way they're going to be able to kill me. Or at least hit me, not kill me. So it's not the safest mob spawn, uh, mob farm, but it's going to have to work for now because we kind of have limited resources. So if we just bring this around. And there's a few trees that grew, so that's good. That's good, that's good. And uh, we can, we're just going to use these for now because why not? Let's just get it going. Okay, so if I do this, chop that like there. And then if I bring this around. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of create like a gap right here. Where we can place a door so we can jump up once we kill everything and get the resources from it. Okay, so that's what we have for now. I'm going to light it up a little bit so nothing bad spawns. Um... So stuff can spawn. Eh, let's just do that for now. Okay, I don't think anything is going to spawn for the most part. We don't want anything to spawn until we can fully uh, get our, our place all set up. Yeah, where, where is my sapling? There we go, found him. Found him. I'm going to plant that, chop this down. I'm going to have to repair this flint axe here shortly as well. But that's alright, that's alright. We got, we got some flint, I believe. We got plenty of flint. And we're going to get some more mulch going as well in the buckets. Unless, did I even do that? Dang it, I didn't. Now I got to break these. Boo. I get so sidetracked when I when I play this. Like, it's like, oh, I got to do this, then I got to do that, then I got to do this. So we're just going to get this going real quick, real quick like. Come over here, chop the remaining tree down. And we're not going to worry about uh, sharing the rest of this for now. Not a big deal. We don't really need a whole lot more more uh, more leaves for the time being. Okay, so we got a little bit more wood. Convert this. Um, nothing spawns, so that's good. That's real good. Thank God. Come over here. All right. Let's jump back in our hole. Um. So the way I'm going to keep them from spawning on. The, like the, this layer here is what I do is I dig two down and then like kind of do some scaffolding with some water place a block so I can put a torch like two layers down and what it'll do is I'll give it enough light to get this light level high enough so they won't spawn here but it'll still be dark enough so where they can spawn there so it actually works pretty well pretty well if you ask me and this is not gonna be even close to enough either Okay, we can at least get the roof going a little bit here. And if I do this, all right. <laughs> and then we can actually just roof off this entire section here. Maybe, if I know how to do it. There we go. So it's really just gonna come down to me get, oh my gosh, oh my lord. Me getting some more blocks and then we can finish this off. Bang, okay, so we're gonna need like a lot more wood. Pretty much. All right, we have some bone mill though. And before we do that, I'm gonna repair this axe before it breaks. Um, I actually have some flint on me. Where is the tool station? Here we go. Bang. Um, and then we put. Where is the? Where the flint go? There it is. Jeez, I'm lying. Bang. All right, there we go. Sweet, sweet. Uh, bone mill, bone mill, bone mill. Right there. Bone mill. Oh God, that was quick. Cut this guy down. Replant. Finish cutting you down. Cut them down. Bone mill, bone mill. There we go. Cut this guy down. We're going to bone mill one more tree. And I hope that's going to be enough. We're going to find out. Plant that down. Oops, did not mean to break that. Um, place that. Bone mill. Oh, God, that's going to be... Oh, no. I, thought, I was like, oh, man, that's going to be a big tree. Another big one, which actually wouldn't be too bad right now because we really need the wood. All right, place that there. Let's eat some carrot juice as we walk over. And our grass is done. We'll worry about that, though. Okay, so now... Um, um, what is with this weather? Um, so now, when I... Uh, see the dirt, kind of like to make stone, there's a chance to get grass seeds. So I'm not sure if I have grass seeds yet. If I don't, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Because we can... Just do that. We can just sieve some dirt, which is pretty easy now that we have uh, shears. 
Get plenty of that dirt going. Okay, so let's create uh, the door right here. Okay, so this is where I'm going to be able to get in. So sp the only problem is spiders can hit you as well. So what I'm, what I'm, pretty much what I'm saying is this is a terrible design, um, <laughs> but it's gonna work for now. It works. That's all that matters. Is it works. We don't have enough access to hoppers to all that yet, so we have to work with what we got. Okay. So we have 12 blocks. We're gonna need one more tree. Um, actually, let's just do this. Let's just grab some cobble. And then we're going to just need to grab some water real quick. And we're going to finish this mob spawner. Then I'm probably going to call this an episode. Because it, we're running on, what, 20 minutes? That's right. It's fine. Let's be a little bit a little bit longer of an episode. Just grab a little bit more stone. Come on. Stop stop going to the lava. Come on. Give me, oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. One more. All right. There we go. Nice. Okay. So let's come over here. Grab me a bucket. Bucket of water. I wonder if this, these are even cat. I don't even think these are catching any fish. Oh well, we have plenty of carrots. Look at our carrots, man. Our carrots are, are pretty prime now. Okay, so, ooh, we actually have a mob here. That, some mobs are spawning already. And we don't have a door, though. So this could get, this could get kind of iffy. Oh god, okay. <laughs> close one, close one. Okay, so we don't have a door yet. I'm gonna, uh, okay, oh well. Oh well, this is so. Let's get this going. So if we place water here, place that there, just so nothing spawns. I don't think it will, but just in case. And I don't think we have enough blocks to be honest. So if we just go down to there, come on back up, so I don't drown. Place that there. Okay. Now, whoops, and I screwed that up as well. I'm just gonna break this one that so we can come out a little bit this is super sketch place that there place that there place uh, oh god I almost drowned there what the heck I'm out of the water what the heck I was out of the water this is shenanigans man shenanigans all right there we go okay so there we got one so if we place this here you'll kind of see um, see how it's dark enough to where red means it can spawn during the day I believe so we can put a nice glass block there. So we just have to do it in these four corners and that will stop all spawning. But guys, I actually do have to end this episode here. Uh, so you can kind of see what we're going to do in the next three squares. In the next one, we're going to put a door here and a door here. And we will have a mob spawner where we can uh, we can fire. And actually, I believe if I bring this in just one, then skeletons won't be able to hit us either. But guys, I hope you enjoyed another episode of Agrarian Skies. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, it really does help. And I will see you guys next time.